Hey, this is Andrew Lim, inviting you to go out on the limb. So when it comes to food here in Belgium, people will immediately think of the delicious waffles as well as their national snack, which is French fries. A fry so good that they actually fry twice to give it a soft interior and a crunchy exterior. And they're really, really addicting, I have to say. But there are actually more food to eat here in Belgium. As you know, when I was in Bruges, I went to a great, a few great restaurants that I have to tell you about. But before we do that, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notification button for new contents that I upload weekly thank you so here in Bruges uh, there are you know you can actually find great restaurants to eat and of course the first one that I checked out was this little bistro I'm not gonna pronounce the name in Dutch because I'm gonna do it a major disservice but this restaurant is run by a husband and wife team uh, and they're really dishing up some really good uh, mussels and the mussels here are the famous uh, what you call the black gold Zealand mussels uh, they're really plump and juicy cooked in curry broth it's just so heavenly I have to say and some Summer and fall are usually a great time to eat these Zealand mussels coming from the Netherlands. Speaking of seafood, here is another restaurant by the canal that serves up really good seafood. Uh, they do have the lobsters here, uh, you know, swimming in the tank. Although these lobsters are flown in from Canada, so if you are a visitor from North America, there's really no need to order uh, double the price lobster from where you're from. Uh, the table snacks that they all offer is interesting. Is this little shrimp that you know you actually it's really hard to peel the shell off, so you just eat it as a whole. But speaking of shrimp, you know the shrimp that they serve here from the North Sea so because of the cold water there the shrimp are really uh, tender uh, the meats great really sweet uh, and for the uh, entree of course I didn't have enough of the Zealand mussels so I had to have more uh, equally tasty plum and juicy it's really good The halibut fish dish was really tasty as well and for a perfect finish we had this custard based dessert it was tasty now, if you want some variety, uh, there is a Japanese place, a really quaint Japanese place in town that you can check out here in Bruges. It's called Restaurant Tanuki. Again, it's run by a husband and wife. Uh, it seems to be a lot of the uh, you know, husband and wife run restaurants here in town. Um, and what you have is really a good Japanese meal. And of course, the inside is, you know, you have a sushi bar, uh, you have a Japanese Zen garden with a little pond. This is really, really quaint. And with the food, uh, you with especially when you come for lunch, there are set lunches that are rather affordable uh, with uh, you know sashimi bowl, uh, sushi bowls, really tasty. And it's actually a good break from your French fries and your Belgian waffles. Hey guys, I'm about to go check out the oldest, possibly the oldest bar in the world, definitely the oldest bar in Belgium. Um, they claim that you know they're the oldest bar in the world, but others may back to differ. Um, so come check it out with me. It's, it's been around for 506 years, so yeah, it's definitely old.
So folks, these were some of the places that I love uh, during my trip here in Bruges uh, when I actually decided to take a break from eating the french fries and the waffles. Uh, they're really, really good places that are worth checking out when you're here in Bruges. Ooh.